What was the incident at your school? Friend and co-captain of the soccer team brutally murdered his parents. His mom was my English teacher. A friend's little brother, freshman, stood up in class and killed himself. He had taken the gun from his oldest brother. Their parents had no idea that there was a gun in their home. He had written a note to a girl saying he was going to do this. She went to her parents with it. They took it to the school. The school did nothing. Kid found out he couldn't process alcohol at a school party. That is, he found out by dying in his sleep that night. At my primary school, a child in nursery, maybe reception, died of a brain tumor. The school and friends of the family raised more than 200,000 pounds for an experimental surgery in America. Now there's a small garden named after her in her memorial. Rest in peace, Amelia. On a lighter note, a bunch of kids got roasted by our deputy head in year 10 for offensive memes. During this, some kids' search got shown to the entire school. Among it were lesbian abuse porn and girl tied up and fingered to death. High school, grade 11. Announcements lady said, blank down instead of sit down during a severe weather drill. Those wanketeers expect us students to keep quiet? We could do anything but keep quiet. One of the teacher's daughters gave a dude a blowjob. Nothing really happens at my school, but one time one of my best friends drowned going down a river saving a girl's life after she was drowning because she had a bad leg. School then, after half a year, took down his memorial we have in the hallway in the trophy area and everyone, and I mean everyone, was pissed the F off. He was a legend and loved by everyone. Our old boys' private school used to have a yearly dance party with an old girls' private school just a few blocks away. I say used to because they canceled it after it was revealed that a bunch of girls were giving head to the boys' corral style in circles on the dance floor. Senior got pancaked by a kid in a car outside of school. It was a mess. An innocent kid in grade 10 died in a gang shooting last year. A security guard came across a student blowing another and offered not to tell if they blew him too. A girl no one suspected was pregnant gave birth one weekend. Her father was a police officer, and before he could break down the bathroom door, she suffocated the child. This thread is too dark. Here is my addition. A few kids were having a farting contest in high school, and one of them crapped himself. There was the guy that blanked a goat my senior year. Don't have any of the details, but do you really want to know the details around a guy blanking a goat? Someone clogged the toilet by crapping a brick so wide and solid that it filled the circumference of the toilet hole. Like, it was as wide as a Boston cream donut and a pure solid. The bloody anus culprit was never found. Teacher was found getting intimate favors from a ninth grade girl who was held back like three times. I went to a school for people with ADHD, autism, and other more severe learning disabilities. A year or so later, another girl claiming S abuse from a teacher who didn't actually do anything. She was just mad because he wouldn't let her keep disrupting class. He got fired and can't teach anywhere, but hey, way to effing go, Skylar. This guy was like 60-something and his whole life was devoted to helping kids. She bragged about it being fake and getting him fired. Everyone told her she was a huge piece of crap. Edit. Her name isn't actually Skylar, obviously, but still, guys, this happened like seven years ago. Maybe cool it with the death wishes. This made national news in 93-94. My freshman year of high school, a pretty unpopular girl got pregnant by her boyfriend. The boyfriend denied it was his and wouldn't have anything to do with her. She told her mother, and the mother flipped out and kicked her out of the house, and she committed self-termination. The Spanish language channel was doing a graveside interview with the father on live TV. During the interview, the mother showed up to the grave. That's when the father walked to his car, grabbed his gun, and shot and killed her on live TV. The father ran, but was caught trying to get to Mexico, I believe. Going to school was really sad and weird for a while after that. I didn't know her well, but we shared most of our classes together, and that desk that stayed empty the rest of the year was a constant reminder. It was my junior to senior years. Between my high school and our rival South School, there were 11 to 13 deaths of students, primarily self-termination, including self-termination by cop, pretending to hold a gun to get shot, and by car wreck. Kids stole a car and crashed it into another car, died on impact. There was a series of three within one week. Everyone at the school was really depressed. Students were constantly missing, had to bring in extra social workers and therapists, and teachers basically were powerless to control the student body, and got really lax on schoolwork. 
The school brought in the survivor who jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge, and we canceled school for the day to go to the assembly and listen to him speak. Kids just sat in the auditorium and cried and just ditched class. I heard it's gotten a lot better, but no one from my graduating class talks about it anymore. A sophomore in high school was filming up girls' skirts and got caught. It was all over the local news. Someone set fire to the school, which led to us having a longer summer holiday. Legends. FYI, I live in the UK. It seems every school has an arsonist or two. Okay, so this one's a little dark, but anyway. This happened when I was in year 5. I don't know what grade this would be in America, but for reference, I would have been like 11? I remember coming to school and everyone was quiet. I asked what happened, but nobody would tell me. Eventually, one girl in my class let me know. Basically, this teacher who was teaching year 4 at the time was caught trying to meet up with a 14-year-old girl for intercourse. They talked online for like a month, and during this time, she repeatedly said she was 14. He also said some pretty effed up crap, like, there's something innocent and fresh about them, in regards to young girls, and, baby, baby, I just want to hold you and feel your lips on mine. It turned out to be a police sting operation, and he was arrested and given a two-year sentence. Fun fact, for our Easter parades, he was the one dressed up as the Easter Bunny who would give out Easter eggs. There was no more teachers dressed as Easter bunnies at our parades after him. 1980s in an Australian high school in a country town. Teachers having affairs with teachers and their partners finding out. One partner slash husband chased a teacher that was having an affair with his wife around the school and punched him. Male teacher having affairs with multiple female teachers at the same time and them finding out. Not bad for a school of about 500 students. Who needed drama on TV? We could watch it at school. An explosion. We had an auto shop class to learn about basic work they do on cars and shops. For the final project, they were going to be tasked with making barbecues out of peppermint oil drums. One day, the teacher was not there, and they had a substitute. One kid who was ahead of everyone decided it would be a good idea to get a head start on his project. Although, the teacher had not fully cleaned out the drums and was not there to tell him that. He started cutting into the drum, and it exploded in his face. He ended up dying later that night. We all got evacuated from school while not quite sure what had happened. I thought there was some sickness spreading or something because there was hazmat and paramedics everywhere. Sad and scary day for everyone at my school, and the teacher ended up developing severe depression. Rumored he became S also, and eventually quit. Story. Murder-suicide happened in the middle of the street, mid-morning just a block away from the school. Two brothers, grown men, one borrowed money from the other and couldn't pay it back. The very next week, someone called the cops about a gang of armed militants marching on the school, and everything was locked down for hours. Some little old lady saw the JROTC team doing their parade drills in their usual spot at the usual time with their wooden rifles. My last year in high school, a girl whom everyone liked died in a car crash because she wasn't wearing a seatbelt. It broke the heart of a lot of people. The day after it happened, everyone showed up to school wearing blue in remembrance of her. It even started a hashtag called hash for name of girl. Everyone on social media was posting about her, how much they missed her, etc. It was truly a sad occurrence and everyone seemed to be grieving. Obviously, there were people who capitalized on her death for attention, exposure, that sort of thing. Posting selfies with the hashtag, SoundCloud rappers using her name and songs to gain exposure. That same year, a close friend of mine attempted to overdose in the school bathroom. He was the type of kid people made fun of because he was quiet and seemed like a school shooter. There was no hashtag for him. Edit. This was in Arizona. Friend is still alive. Student did it with a teacher, got caught, and posted all of the female teacher's nude pics online. Had a couple senior pranks that made the news. Someone microwaved a cat and left it in their locker. After a couple days, the stank was so overwhelming they had everyone in that hall open their lockers. Ended up with ten drug arrests and one smelly butt cat. An intercourse tape was discovered between three students. Maybe one was filming? I don't remember the breakdown. The guy came in the girl's eye, and she was known as Cyclops throughout the rest of high school. Not sure how people saw this tape, because it was like 2004 before smartphones, so it must have been like a physical tape. Bedbugs infested the school. The school didn't notify students or parents till a week after it was discovered. Almost 100 students brought them back to their home. The county ended up paying for the cleaning of all the students' homes, and finally everyone figured out which student initially brought the bugs to school. Poor Bedbugs Bernie. The Fork Incident 
My freshman year, two red-wearing gangster kids got into a fight for some reason that nobody remembered or cared to even remember, and the two students started a legitimate fist fight. The fight escalated within seconds, and the other kid stabbed the other kid with a fork. For some reason, all the kids for the rest of my high school years remembered the incident. If a kid was going to get in a fight, some kid would inevitably say to bring a fork or give a kid a fork as a joke. A ceiling tile fell on a student. Two students were found doing it in the girls' bathroom, and they were both dating other people. In ninth grade, we spent 45 minutes in world geography class watching our teacher, who was also the baseball coach, chase a cow off the baseball field. Tenth grade English, Mrs. White forgot the intruder alert drill was just a drill and freaked out and farted quite loudly trying to make a barricade out of desks. No one told her that it wasn't real until the toot. Four people committed self-termination my sophomore year. The CDC came to the school to try and figure out why. Teacher dated a student fairly openly. They got married immediately after graduation. Rural school in the 90s. Before my time, some kid brought a nail bomb to school, told his buddy about it who thankfully told the administration. Police shootouts in the surrounding neighborhood. It wasn't uncommon to find bullet marks on the outer walls of the building. I miss Puerto Rico. Female teacher gets drunk and does it with a student on a spring break trip to Spain. When we get back, they don't fire her. She spends the next six weeks getting drunk and tries to make a run at several of us, me included. She was not invited to return the following year. Easily. Happened when I was a senior. This longtime couple, cutest thing ever, but she ended up cheating on him in a threesome and the intercourse tape was released to school. She was dumped, spiraled into depression, attempted to off herself via train. She lost an arm, her legs, but managed to survive. I don't remember much after that. It was wild. The year was 2005. During lunch, someone supposedly took a dump and broke the toilet in half. Principal, along with 20 teachers, brought all the guys into the gym and showed us slides of the turd and toilet bowl split in half. The entire gym was laughing so hard while the teachers tried to get us to settle down. Nobody ever confessed to the crime. During the school day, someone set fire to the toilet paper rolls in the men's bathroom. For some reason, though, the school was put in lockdown instead of being evacuated. I guess it was because the fire was relatively small and was put out fairly quickly, but it did send my social studies teacher to the hospital since he got hit by a stall door trying to put the blaze out. A guy killed himself. He jumped in front of a train. He was apparently bullied, and he might have been gay. He was 15 years old. I knew something was up when I was walking from one school building to the other, when a few janitors came together and talked about an accident with the train, which wasn't far away from school. I knew it had something to do with one of the kids, and unfortunately, it was true. I still think about it every time I drive past the spot where he killed himself. It's been 11 years now. 2016 was the year known for a lot of celebrity deaths, right? Well, that spilled over to my school. 2016 was the year when a friend's mom died due to health complications. A friend's dad died. No one knows what happened. My dad died. A kid my entire class knew got cancer. A kid's entire family died in a freak accident. Teacher's mom died. This all happened within a three-month period. We couldn't stop going to funerals as a class. It felt like every weekend something horrible happened. Some bozo stuck his entire life savings into a fundraiser. Teacher got fired for posting pictures of attractive underage students on a known pedophile site. The education minister commented on it. A 33-year-old mother stole her daughter's identity and came to school for three days to relive her high school days. She even joined the cheerleading squad. Had a couple in junior high. One douchebag kid who was always acting like a butt got beat to a bloody pulp for asking the quiet weird kid, Why'd your mom kill your dad and not you? Two, during a movie, kid in the back of class whipped out his D and started jerking. Girl sitting next to him saw it and told the teacher he never lived it down. Three, transfer student, freshman, bully, scary looking, probably six foot five, 220, picked a fight with a kid half his size, but who knew how to fight. Tall bully promptly got his butt beat down. Senior prank when I was a freshman. A group of 10 seniors broke into the school at night, removed the ceiling tiles in the library, and covered a lot of the door handles in peanut butter. There was also apparently a camcorder and some money that was stolen. Anyway, school got shut down for a day so they could clean it all up. We were all the way up in Maine, and the incident was reported on as far away as in Florida. Apparently, the kids made a huge mess of the library tiles, and a ton of them were broken or unusable. 
The peanut butter was spun as a deliberate attempt to trigger allergy attacks, although I'm pretty sure this was nonsense. The town billed it as a case of vandalism. In retrospect, it was just a prank that got really, really out of hand, and one jerk used it as an opportunity to score a camcorder. My high school had five fires in one year. Three were construction, two were people lighting toilet paper on fire and then throwing it in garbage cans. Almost a year ago, early in the morning, a kid was found hanging in the stairwell. It was all anyone could talk about all day, and everyone was peed that the teachers didn't do anything to help us cope with the trauma. He survived, though. When I was in high school, my friend dropped dead a couple of months before graduation. He was talking to his girlfriend on the phone, and she heard a thump, and he was just dead. His little sister found him before the girlfriend could make it to the house. No reason found on autopsy either. He just died. In grade 5, the teacher was reading the diary of Anne Frank to the class, and we were all on the carpet listening intently. Things were serious as she explained to us that they were about to get caught. Out of nowhere, Paul released an unstoppable seven-second fart in the middle of a group. It was one of those farts where it's obvious he'd been holding it while the pressure built. Meanwhile, his sitting on the floor created an exemplary embouchure that trumpeted poor Paul's misfortune throughout the room. It stunk, too. We laughed, he cried, we all got a talking to. There was a guy, F for privacy, who had just transferred from another high school. He wore weird clothes and a lot of people joked that he was going to be the next school shooter. I personally didn't pay much attention and felt that he was a pretty chill dude, just a bit odd. One day, he was asked to make a report for class. I forgot the topic and I wasn't in the class. He decided to make a PowerPoint about the Second Amendment. Apparently, he specifically asked the teacher if he could do this and the teacher gave the okay. He made the PowerPoint and accidentally left the flash drive that held it in a school computer. Some students found it and reported it. F tried to explain that he was given permission to do it, but the teacher straight up denied it. In the end, the school suspended F and said they would only accept him back if he went through a mental evaluation test. F was fed up and just dropped high school to go get his GED. TLDR, guy made a PowerPoint about the Second Amendment, got suspended for fear of being a school shooter. True story, I went to a high school that shaped like a swastika. I think if you Wikipedia it, Burncoat Senior High, it has a whole page about it. LOL. And if that wasn't bad enough, we had three different cafeterias. The B Cafe, the C Cafe, and the D Cafe. And which one you ate in basically depended on your race. B Cafe was all the black kids, C Cafe was all the white kids, and the D Cafe was all the Hispanics. The Hispanics and the blacks got into this huge race war one year, and one morning we had a legit riot. Over the speakers, they announced Code Red, and the teachers ran to lock all the doors, and the kids in the hallways were thrown into random rooms. The school was on lockdown for six hours. The kids were all fighting each other, and eventually the teachers tried to stop them, which turned into kids throwing teachers over desks and fighting them too. We had something like 20 to 30 cop cars show up, and they arrested a bunch of kids. The students made a bunch of t-shirts that said, I survived Code Red 06. The shirts were not allowed. Pretty terrifying at the time, especially because at first, no one knew what was really going on. Luckily, no one got really hurt. I can only imagine the fear of being in a lockdown these days. Good times. Sophomore, who was super athletic and in good shape, varsity football plus tennis, was playing tennis one day and went into a sudden cardiac arrest. He died just like that. It's a strange feeling knowing he was there in class with you one day and the next he's completely gone. For a senior prank, a group of guys somehow snuck into the school cafeteria during off hours and put pieces of dead deer above the ceiling tiles without anyone catching them. A few days later, students and staff started complaining about an awful smell. It took a few more days before anyone figured to look in the ceiling. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.